Hi. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a Cochrane's Q test in SPSS. Now, SP, uh, Cochrane's Q is an omnibus statistic. So, just like repeated measures ANOVA is an omnibus statistic, it's testing multiple uh, means at the same time, more than two. Cochrane's Q is similar, it's going to be testing multiple percentages, more than two, uh, for equality. Now in this scenario, what I've got is uh, data that are scored on 0, 1, that's where Cochrane's Q is, is uh, useful in particular, is nominally scored data, 0, 1, or dichotom dichotomously scored data in particular. And in this case here, the researcher is re interested in determining whether suicidal uh, levels uh, change across time due to the application of a treatment. So what with this case here, the researcher has 24 people suffering from uh, clinical depression, but not all of them are actually suicidal. So those with a zero uh, are not suicidal, whereas those with a one are coded as suicidal. And the researcher applies a treatment to help uh, alleviate depression symptoms and suicide uh, as well. And so the researcher wants to know whether suicide levels change across time. So suicide is measured at three time periods. One is before the treatment's applied, then post-treatment, and then a follow-up uh, measurement, let's say six months after the treatment or three months or something. Now before doing the Cochrane's Q analysis to test whether the percentages are equal, I'd recommend that you actually look at the percentages because you're not going to get them from the Cochrane's Q analysis. So you can go in analysis descriptive statistics and put your variables into uh, the variables box uh, to to see the percentages. So in this case here, I've got post treatment to follow up. Put those into there and look at the frequency tables. Uh, make sure that's selected and that will produce the percentages. And that's what Cochrane's Q is testing for is the differences in the percentages. So we can see we've got 24 people uh, in this repeated within subjects design. And at pretreatment, 50% are experiencing suicidal uh, inclinations or thoughts, feelings. And then at post treatment, suicidal levels decrease to 33.3%. And then at follow up, suicide levels are down to 12.5%. Now these are numerical differences. Cochrane's Q is going to test whether these percentages are equal to each other within sampling fluctuations. It's a different question. And to get that question, whether it's more than just a numerical difference that might be due to sampling fluctuations, we need to test that uh, those differences statistically. And you can do that with Cochrane's Q by going into Analyze, Non-Parametric Tests. You could go into this Related Samples uh, option here, but I prefer go to go into uh, legacy dialogues, go to chi-square, and then you've got k-related samples. Can't quite see that on the on the screen, but that's what it is. k-related samples here, and click on uh, that, and I've actually been doing the analysis already, but what you would see is this, and actually Friedman's ANOVA would actually be the uh, default, and you need to deselect that, click on Cochrane's Q, and put your three levels of the within subjects factor into test variables. Now you don't have a lot of options. You can get descriptives, but I believe that's going to report means and not uh, the um, percentages, which are uh, particularly important. Uh, you've got this exact option, which I'm going to explain in another video uh, in relation to uh, bootstrapping, uh, what's taking place here, a so, uh, resampling technique that I won't talk about in this video. So once you've got that, once you've got your test variables in here, you got Cochrane's Q selected, click on OK, and you will get your analyses. And so here is, here are the means, uh, which in this case do in fact correspond to the percentages, but if you wanted to look at it uh, in terms of the frequencies, uh, you can do that as well. Uh, 5033, 12.5, 5033.13 expressed as means. And here we've got our uh, frequencies, which aren't uh, that interesting. It's just telling us the percentage, uh, the frequencies of 
people who selected zero at pretreatment and one at pretreatment.